What's up guys, it's Johnny Candido of Candido Training HQ. As you can tell, this is the second cycle of my deadlift program. This is a variation cycle, and the exercise that I'm using is a snatch grip with a wide stance. And before I'm gonna show that, as you can see here, I'm front squatting, and this is for the first time in quite a while. Due to my back, the squat has actually been the last lift to come around, and for me to even really be able to do it with any loading consistently. So that felt really good and I'm just gonna gradually build that up almost exclusively focusing on the front squat. Now here you see I'm doing that wide stance snatch grip deadlift that I mentioned and this is 365 pounds. The first workout I actually used 315 pounds so this is the second workout of this phase. And for this entire phase all I'm doing are five rep sets. And it's just three by five, three by five and then two by five and one by five at the very end. Now you see here is what I'm showing is why I'm doing this snatch grip deadlift with the wide stance. First of all, outside of the wider stance just being more applicable from the front, from the side you can see the hip height is similar to the sumo with the forward lean of the conventional. And as I said here, from the front, this is like a very narrow sumo minus the foot flare and room to get your knees out more significantly. So that's something that just is going to increase carryover while getting the benefits of conventional. The main goal, again, is to build up the range of motion, but a reason why I don't like the deficit deadlift for the same purpose is because the deficit on the sumo is something that just tends to be very awkward and very few high-level sumo pullers like that movement. So sometimes things can make somewhat sense on paper, but at the end of the day, with your hands in front of you, that can mess up your timing and your knee lockout. Whereas this is almost like a deficit narrow sumo, but with your hands outside of you so that there's no real timing issues and it's a very low skill movement. That's what's incredibly important when doing this lift, is to make sure that it is just straightforward, your back is flat, and it should feel very simple. Also, this is really useful for myself because once off the floor becomes a limiting factor in the sumo, this is a movement that's going to help with that. And off the floor weakness should be your goal for sumo. And if you don't have that, then you most likely just have to work on technique and perhaps block pulls because then either usually your back is rounded or your grip is too narrow. So once those things are sorted out, that's when then you can just blast some volume with a movement like the snatch grip deadlift, as long as you're doing enough sumo work as well. And that's something that I actually regret about this cycle, and I'm going to adjust um, before I actually release the program, is I'm going to increase the volume here on this sumo. I was just doing two triples a workout, some workouts one triple, and that's certainly not enough volume to really get that lift maintaining. Last point is whenever you're focusing on a variation cycle to keep the sets and reps incredibly simple to make up for the fact that you're already adding in a lot of variation through exercise selection. So that's it guys, check out this top set here with 455 pounds. Even though my goal is 475 initially, that was awesome. And most importantly, my back feels great even through that bigger range of motion. That's it, guys. Make sure to like the video, support the channel, subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace. Man,